Yo, greetings, greetings, greetings. You, you know, you already know it's your boy. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, it's me. Namaste, hola, hi, all of them things. Eh? First and foremost, I want to big up everybody who are tuning in to this video. As you can see, I'm in my chef's outfit, so you know it's about to go down or up. Right? I'm in the kitchen today and I'll be preparing. Um, I'm, I kind of don't have a lot of time because my wife instructed me to prepare this meal a while ago but I was busy I'm going to prepare for you guys um, some greens uh, I have some kale here in the sink that I'm currently washing I'm going to be using or uh, blending it with some mushrooms this is just what kind of mushroom I mean? white blank mushrooms it's a regular mushroom we get from no frills, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to throw it together with some tomatoes or tomato. I have some sweet pepper, you know what I'm saying? And you know, regular spice, onion, thyme, and them things. Them thing so, without further ado, I'm going to get right into the cooking process. Alright, so first and foremost, what I'll start off by doing is washing the scale. Um, I was looking through it before and it looks pretty good right um, I'm not sure how much I bought it for but it wasn't very expensive I don't see any signs of insects so I'm not gonna spend much time on it um, but you know it already when we wash any kind of green vegetable from yard we just put some salt on it in case you know what I mean we buck up on any friends or family or relatives in there all right just want to get this scale washed and then after washing it I'm going to chop it up in some small pieces so those of you who are not um, very familiar with kale because um, in Jamaica I, I don't think I know about kale I just know about like you know pop chow or bok chow or whatever you want to name uh, lettuce and um, cabbage and everything there but I never really had kale before until I came here and I mean how that is the first experience with kale it wasn't the best experience because kale kind of robust yeah you know I'm saying but it's healthy it's good for you all of it now you have these leaves that have matured beyond um, the young stage most people that said them not good and throw them out oh <laughs> you know that go already we not throw them out I mean me I guess I can remove this part of the leaf but I'm not going to throw the entire leaf because it's not rotting it's just a bit mature more mature than the rest of the kale and frankly I don't think it tastes much different anyways alright so I've finished um, cutting up or chopping up my kale as you can see it has a nice um, color profile because of the young and mature leaves and that's the way I like it I'm going to proceed to you know just wash some of the seasonings that I'll be using this is some garlic it was frozen but um, I'm gonna use it still because I like garlic they're a bit mature yeah you know I'm saying so them kind of feel softish but you know it already um, these are the sweet peppers I'm not gonna cut them. You know, let me taste this and see if I really. Yeah, sweet pepper. <laughs> no, <man>. Mistake. <laughs> Mistake. I think a, a sweet pepper with a regular everyday pepper. I feel I have myself. No, sir. That's it for me in terms of preparation of the seasonings. Um, I have some thyme here. I don't generally like to use the thyme when it has um, dried out so much, but it still has a strong scent, and I particularly love thyme, so I'm still going to go ahead and utilize um, some of it. You know what I'm saying? 
next step right now I'm going to be preparing the pot uh, okay you see me yeah so the next stage right now I'm going to be preparing the pot um, the stove is just behind me I'm going to be um, putting some oil in the pot and get my seasonings in the oil um, and then I'm going to add some other powdered seasoning a little chicken flavor seasoning and I'm saying some black pepper salt maybe a dash of paprika you know what I'm saying I'm just essentially going to put a bag of random seasons that I find in the counter in the in the cupboard behind me and I hope that um yeah to start this portion um of the cooking see as you can see in the background right there sister Shanika Shanika say hello hi yeah you know you can imagine most wives would be overjoyed to come home and see their husbands in the kitchen you know my wife said to me why me have to look like a mule why me have to dress up and look like a mule anyways i'm not going to let that deter me i'm going to proceed uh with the preparation of this wonderful kale meal some extra virgin olive oil sponsored by great valley you know great valley is a walmart brand let me just stop right here and say thank you very much walmart for allowing us the privilege of using your product So right now you're not able to smell it but the kitchen is very aromatic at this point in time. Um, all of the flavors are blending together really well. And what I'm going to start doing is add some of the powdered seasoning. Um, not, I'm not going to add all of it. I'm going to add some. Just giving this a few more minutes to saute. Right? I'm going to add some powdered seasoning to really complement the flavor of what I'm doing here. Salt. No bother with the negative. No bother with the negative. One dash of salt. I wish you were able to smell what I'm smelling. If you see Sister Shanika, her mouth is watering. Some black pepper, onion powder. Keeping the flame on medium to low heat for now. I'm going to add a little garlic powder. Paprika, once again, sponsored by Great Value. Pick up yourself, one man. Unlike regular vegetables, I find that whenever I saute or try to cook kale, it does not spring as much water. So I'm going to be adding some water, a tip of water before I add the kale. Bring in for a closer look. So usually I don't like to add the mushrooms um, until like closer to the end of the meal because they cook very quickly. But um, whether they cook quickly or not, sometimes I prefer them a bit overdone. It doesn't taste too badly. Uh, so I'm going to be adding the mushrooms now and then I'm going to be adding the kale that I've already prepared. Make a little space in that pot, you know what I mean? Add a little bit more water. Chicken seasoning. With this, I'll just say add as needed. It can be any chicken seasoning, as long as you've used it before and you know the integrity of the seasoning, you can go ahead and add it. Straight greens. All right, let's cover it up. Maybe give it like 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll check back on the progress. All right, all right. So I've um, completed my meal. Let me just pan to the finished product right now. As I say, I haven't turned off the pot as yet. I'm going to do that in a few. But as you can see, it has reduced ever so nicely. Look at the pot, could I hold way more kale. Um, it tastes amazing. 
so I hope that you are able to try this recipe I mean it's not very specific it's one of them kind of do it as all the Spirit of God leads you kind of recipe but the main ingredient you want your kale and you want your mushroom and you know you add your seasonings and you follow up with the taste until you are satisfied so thanks again for watching um as i said it's been a minute since you've seen chef dini yeah i'm saying but i'll be back with more um until the next time big up yourself stay safe yeah, i'm saying big up everybody big up tersh and big up jamaica and big up bishop yeah, i'm saying and big up Jermaine and katie and big up nika and adam and big up is in me emar and big up everybody big up the world yeah i'm saying peace